Do you have a photo with wide depth of field and you want to apply professional lens blur? Today, I will show you how to do that in Adobe Photoshop. This is Creative Society. I'm going to import five photos that were shot using a wide depth of field, meaning that both the details of the subject and the background are in focus. As we can see, the buildings in the background of this photo still have a lot of details. This is a typical scenario for photos taken with an iPhone or a professional camera with narrow aperture. So to apply the lens blur, go to filter, camera raw filter, and then under lens blur, select apply. Now we have the lens blur applied with different settings to achieve a professional result. We can select the focus range and also adjust its size. We can choose different settings for the bokeh and also the amount of blur we want to apply. If we check visualize depth, we can also see how Photoshop perceives the distance between the subject and the background. Then we can make refinements with the brush to either focus or blur certain areas. We have the typical brush settings like amount, size, feather and flow. I'm going to blur out the leaves by selecting a blur brush and painting over this area. Disable the visualize depth to see the results. Here's the before and the after. The next photo was shot at night, so let's see how this effect is gonna perform. Again, go to filter, camera raw filter, lens blur, and hit apply. All right, for this one, I'll choose the bubble bokeh setting because I like the lights in the background. There's also a bokeh boost slider to make the bokeh brighter. I'll change the blur amount to 16 because I feel like it's a little too much and also increase the focus range. I'm gonna make some refinements to focus on his hand right here and then I'll apply the effect. If you still want to make changes, you can create a mask and just paint over the areas where you want to disable the effect. Let's go to the third photo to test it out. I think this photo looks much better with the lens blur applied. This reminds me of the portrait mode on iPhone but with much more control over the effect. The fourth photo was shot on a professional camera at the narrow aperture value which makes the buildings in the background very sharp as well as the details of the subjects. This is the perfect scenario where our effect would work like magic. Let's try it out. Change the blur amount and with a few tweaks, this is the before and this is the after. And the last example, this was a photo shot on iPhone and with the lens blur effect applied in the camera raw, here's how it turned out. So there you have it guys, a really cool Photoshop feature that can help you achieve a professional lens blur for your photos. Make sure you subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials and drop a like if you enjoyed it. Have an amazing day.